Hey, did you know that nearly 5.6 million workers are at risk for exposure to bloodborne pathogens? Yeah, so? I work for a school. How dangerous could that be? True. Healthcare workers have the greatest exposure, but teachers and educational workers deal with a lot of potentially hazardous body fluids as well. Yeah, sure. You don't get it, do you? All right. First, you need to know. What exactly is a bloodborne pathogen? Bloodborne pathogens are microorganisms that can be present in human blood and can cause disease. These pathogens include those that cause malaria, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and human immunodeficiency virus, the virus that causes AIDS. All right, it sounds serious, but how am I supposed to come into contact with any of that? And let's say it happens. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry. There are safeguards you can use to protect yourself against the health hazards from exposure to blood and other potentially infectious material. If you just follow some basic guidelines, not only can you avoid hepatitis B, but you can also significantly reduce the risk of contracting AIDS, hepatitis C, or other bloodborne diseases.